Welcome to another episode of Comedy Wham Presents The Current with me, your host, Valerie, and brought to you by David Thomas. ComedyWham.com is your place to go for features about all Austin comedy. David and I have been talking about this project for a while. I love interviewing funny people, and he loves writing about them. We'll be bringing you podcasts featuring the best in Austin comedy in all its shapes and formats. I'll be doing these interviews in two parts, the past and the current. Consider these bite-sized ways for you to get to know the folks that make the Austin comedy scene one of the best in the country. And now, the current with our guest, Adam Wolf. Hey, how you hey, doing? Hey, welcome. Mm. Welcome back. Thanks. It's been a it's long been time. It's been a long time. A whole week. Really, yeah. Well, let's kick off the current episode with this question. How would you describe your life today? Today, in one word? No. Oh, no, just, no. Uh, it's going pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's I'm, going uh, pretty good. I'm going through a major transition. Yeah. So I, I, Are you sex change? Yes, yes. Oh. I used to be a woman, now I'm a man. <laughs> and uh, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Being a female comic is hard, so now I'm going <laughs> to have a penis. It's going to work out great for me. <laughs> Uh, Mic drop. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the interview. I'll see you. <laughs> how, how would you describe your style? I, um, at one time, I was a very, so very much a one liner comic uh, mm -hmm. to the point where it was distracting because I would go from subject to subject. Now I try to group my jokes more in a, uh, like a cohesive bits, but I still, I mean, they're just still one liner after one liner. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know. I don't want to compare myself to anybody, but I do a lot of one line style jokes, short jokes. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, one thing that hasn't come up is that you are, you are not afraid of sensitive subjects. No, I, um, <laughs> and I, it, to me, it's almost, I almost worry that I use it as a crutch that I, huh. that I, I know I can get laughs if I talk about abortion or uh -huh. Jesus or, or, <laughs> Um, Catholic priest or whatever, you know, just any, yeah. and, and sometimes I, I wonder, should I just be telling a joke about, you know, how my day went or when I went to the supermarket or something, yeah. but yeah, I, I, I like to push the, the limits. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be you if you weren't genuine and if you like dealing with those, those subjects and kind of, and pushing the envelope of, of people's thinking. Yeah. And it's. It's and just I've fun heard, to get the reaction. Yeah. I've heard, yeah, I've heard your offensive jokes, and they're they are funny. They're not offensive for the sake of being offensive. Yeah, and they do well in Austin. Some of them, <laughs> some of them don't do well in Jonestown or in Waco. <laughs> if you're ever in Waco, don't do four minutes of jokes about Jesus <laughs> and his great abs. <laughs> so they don't appreciate. Doesn't them. go well. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> uh, what's what's been the coolest show that that you've done in the last year? Uh, the last year. Um, I would say the coolest show that I've done in the last year is probably um, Stone Drunk and Sober. Okay, what's that? I don't that? know if I got that correct. Drunk, oh. Stone Drunk and Sober. I think that's drunk, what it, yeah. Then you're going to get so, the order wrong. <laughs> yeah, basically it's they take six comments. It's hosted by Rob Gagnon and okay. Lisa Friedrich at the New Movement Theater. And you have two teams, or three teams. One's Team Sober, Team Stone, and Team Drunk. Okay. And so you have each half of the team goes in order. First the... Uh, this, you know, they just go in a certain order. I don't remember yeah. what it was. And ba it's a fake competition because there's no prize or anything. But, <laughs> you know, one comic goes up and they're, they're drunk. One yeah. has smoked a lot of weed. And, um, I had just as much fun performing. It was at the New Movement Theater. It was packed. It was a lot of fun. My niece, uh, who just went to college saw me for the first time and wow. will never think of me the same way after that <laughs> set. Um, but it was, it, it, the audience was great and all the comics did well, but I had almost just as much fun with the comics in the green room uh -huh. before the show, because there's, I don't know if I'm not going to say his name just in case, but the, the comic who is one of the stoned, I've done several shows with him. He's been really nice, but he's always been really quiet uh -huh. and he was stoned and he, he was your stereotypical stoner, just laughing at every little thing. And it was, to me, it was more fun to be in the green room yeah. joking with him than it was to be on stage <laughs> or to be watching the other comics. So that was, that was the most fun I've had. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a very yeah. cool show. You should go. It's I, uh, yeah. once a month, I think, or once every couple of months. Follow Rob Gagnon. You'll, you'll okay. see. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. Tell us about the burgeoning scene in the 254 area code. Okay. So I, I work up in, uh, in Copperas, Copperas Cove. Copperas yeah, Cove. <laughs> to coin a Daniel Gallo <laughs> phrase. And, uh, um, I have some friends up there. There was a comedy club called Shenanigans up there in Nolanville where, um, 
that did not last. But we wanted to, all the comics that used to regular there doing the open mics and opening for the other comics, we decided when it closed that we were going to continue to be in touch. And uh, we've tried several times at different bars to try to start a regular showcase or a regular open mic. And, you know, a good example of what happened, we, we did it one place and we scheduled, we were like, the owner was really into it. Mm-hmm. So this is, we did a showcase and we were like, okay, so the third Saturday of every month. So then the very next week we go for the open mic and there's a poster for some other event on the day oh. that we'd agreed to. So that's just a perfect example of, of, the lack of support the owners gave. And Mm -hmm. um, we finally found this place called Taiku Wine Bar in downtown Killeen. Um, And the owners are really into it. And it's a super nice venue. And we started uh, about a month ago. Do Every other week we do a showcase. And we bring comics from Austin, down from Waco, Dallas. Mm -hmm. And we've it's not a very big room, but we've been able to fill it on a Wednesday night in Killeen, Texas. (laughs) Um, you know, between 25 to 35 uh-huh. people or so, which is really great considering on a regular Wednesday, they have nobody there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we've been able to pay the comics and, um, every show, um, has been a, a super successful and all the comics have enjoyed it. And we're expanding to another bar. We're going to do an open mic every other week there, uh, the alternating weeks on Tuesday. Cool. So, um, I mean, it's a huge, Compared to Austin, it's not big, but you have yeah. Fort Hood, you have Temple, you have Belton, Colleen, Harker Heights. Yeah. You know, when you add it all together, it, you know, it's a big population center right. and every, you know, comedy's booming right now as it is. So, and those people have nothing to laugh about. So no, this is a great depressing. opportunity. You, you've been to Colleen. You've <laughs> seen, been, yeah. you've seen Colleen. Tank Destroyer yeah. Boulevard. Yes, the I have. Scariest <laughs> street in the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't talked about a couple of things that, that you're involved with currently. One is you're, your talent at meme, at meme generation yes. photoshops which, and memes which yes. is part of why you have a large twitter following is yes. you, you do a lot of of memes and then uh the other thing that you're involved with are well one podcast you used to be involved in another yes. podcast and that has kind of helped uh shape your your comedy stylings and and your confidence that you've you've gotten performing in front of a, an audience yes you, i um uh the the memes I do, the photoshops are mostly, I, well, I do a lot for a bunch of different things and yeah. I do requests. So if you have a request, <laughs> follow me on Twitter, Facebook and, and I, I take requests. Uh, but the best way to get in with the guys from a radio show, a morning show is uh-huh. to do visual work for them yeah. <laughs> because apparently doing photoshops <laughs> will, will get you famous in a, uh, on a radio show. And it's a lot of fun. It's it's something I can do at work. It takes me about yeah. five minutes. I mean, the quality is it yeah. clearly looks like it only took me five <laughs> minutes, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I do a podcast called Taco Tuesday, and you can find us at www.tacotuesdaypodcast.com. Mm-hmm. And it's a, a podcast about music, technology, and comedy. And it's me and my buddy Dan and uh, Bob FM, the number one radio show radio personality dave in the cave Mm -hmm. and it's a it's a lot of fun and we kind of partner with you on your your are we allowed to talk about that Uh, sure on your other podcast radio (laughs) tatas yep yeah oh and one more thing that i do that that i don't know if it's on your list is i am a uh contributing writer to the atx tonight show oh no starring chris sibilia and it is a late night style you know tonight show type style comedy show and um I mostly write for the monologue team, but, uh, we also do some, you know, like top 10 list type things. I write for that. It's a, it's at the hideout theater every, uh, Saturday night at 1030. If that's downtown. And, um, I do a lot of current event, like on Facebook, I'm sitting at work or at home and I have the news up mm-hmm. and I'll see a news article and just something. It's usually like instantaneously. It's, I don't have to think about it. Just pop it in my yeah. head. And you can't really use a lot of those current event jokes on stage. Be, ex, when you don't get to go to open mics every night because yeah. if you wait two days then everybody else has done every joke there is so it's a good output for me for the more political current event style jokes so mm-hmm. um please come out to that show and tell them adam <laughs> sent you <laughs> <laughs> wow you, yeah. so you're like you're everywhere i try to be yeah from far away far away yes that's eventually i'll move I, I have a kid in high school and he uh, when he graduates it's the only reason i stay in that little uh-huh. Uh, neck of the woods, I will move down to, uh, closer to here. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. And then you can. If you need a roommate, just. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. I'm good. Thank you. Thank You're you for, <laughs> thank you for offering. <laughs> and with that, we're going to wrap it up. All right. Uh, it got really awkward. No, just kidding. <laughs>
<laughs> well, one thing that, I don't know, random people listening to this aren't going to realize that you and I have known each other for, I don't know, three, four At least years? three or four years, yeah. And we got started on Twitter yes. being friends, and you know, we've we've been friends forever, yes. so we have this goofy you Send rapport. each other uh, inappropriate well, photos very. of... Of our gen- our, <laughs> not our, Nixon, no, our buttocks, mom yeah. jeans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but anyway. All right. <laughs> we can edit that one out. <laughs> All right. So we've covered podcasts. <laughs> is, that, is there a cat in the background? What am I hearing? No. Um, we've covered the podcast, mm-hmm. the meme, the, the social media stuff that you do, the writing for... ATX Tonight. ATX yes. Tonight. Uh, stand Up. What am I missing? Uh, Are you on TV yet? No, I'm not yet. T- no, I was not. That Brian Gar got that job. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't even apply. Yeah. I think I'm going to make all of the comics uh, say that joke on this podcast. Oh, did they already use that at ATX? I think <laughs> or, that might have been said. Uh, sure thing, <laughs> Duncan Carson. You guys, uh, well, on your Radio Tatas interview, is it the same interview that for this show? You guys talked about us on Radio Tatas and our burgeoning scene in Colombia. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. They did not seem impressed. No, they're you know. As they shouldn't be. No, they're it's just clean. Yeah, they're the royalty in yeah. town. <laughs> they're like mini Matt Beardens. Yeah, so well, see, you could be the the Matt Beardens of, of the Central <laughs> Texas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my new show, Kick. <laughs> So inside baseball. Yes. Do you want to explain that? Well, for the audience of one, it, but the comics, I would assume they would know that Matt Bearden had a show called Punch, and then Slug. he stopped that, and then he had a show called Slug. Yeah, so my show's going to be called Kick. Kick. And I'm just, I have this mental image of the Saturday Night Live lady who turns 50 and she kicks. All right. All right. Sorry. I'm supposed to be the straight yes, person yeah. interviewing the comic. I'm not funny. All right. Well, let's wrap up with Glad a. Cl- you said that. <laughs> let's wrap up with a closing question. Now we're back to one word. Describe your future, Adam. Um, optimistic. I am optimistic. Very cool. I, I as, as well you should be. All right. Any parting words? Um, no. Just uh, look for me on Facebook, Adam Wolf. I'm on Twitter at Adam Wolf seventy seven. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, Animal77, Snapchat, Animal77. Uh, just look, look up Animal77 in Google. All my stuff will be there. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's a wrap on Comedy Wham Presents The Current with our guest, Adam Wolf. Listen to part one for more information about how our guest got to be the comedic genius you hear and see today.